view yourself as this grandiose image and you need everybody to see that. That's why narcissistic people What's good guys back with another video this is a subscriber request from my man's roche fort six he wanted to know and he wanted me to explain about narcissism because he says himself he feels like he's narcissistic he can empathize with people but only on like a logical level so he can't really feel how the other person's feeling a lot of times and um this is a really good topic that he suggested so i'm going to get into it a lot of people have misconceptions about narcissism they think just because somebody's like overly confident or is sure of themselves and is and really secure in themselves and is is a uh, brash or or somewhat loud that they're narcissistic not necessarily um narcissism is a little deeper than that there's nothing wrong with being confident or highly confident in fact, I think I'm highly confident and it's a very powerful trait to have because in this world, if you don't have a degree of confidence, at least you're going to get pushed around and you're going to get um, you're going to get taken advantage of pretty much. So that's that's the balance with ego, right? It's good to have a sense of self, but not you don't want to overdo it. So narcissism isn't necessarily being being very confident. It's an overinflated sense of confidence that you use. You overinflate it a lot so that it covers up the insecurities that you have right so you build yourself up you view yourself as this grandiose image and you need everybody to see that that's why narcissistic people want attention they want to be seen they want to be liked and anytime they get any sort of hint of um, criticism some of them or a lot of them somebody not agreeing with them or somebody not seeing their way they take that very personally it's like it feels like a personal attack and it and it hurts them this is why it can be kind of difficult to have uh, relationships or friendships with narcissistic people because there's like odd dynamic where if that person isn't feeling secure which is out of your hands of course security comes within if that person doesn't feel secure they're gonna blame it on you and they're gonna push that on you but you know if we look at the narcissistic's perspective they might not necessarily see they're using this grandiose image of themselves to cover up any insecurities they just view it as oh I'm, a, I'm an amazing person I'm a worthwhile person and if people can't see that there's something wrong there must be something wrong with them that they can't see my value and if you think this way, you have to understand that not everybody's going to see your value. Yes, deal with people that see your value, but you will, you will come across people that won't necessarily see your value. And you have to be okay with that. That doesn't mean you always associate with them, but you can't, you can't have it where everything has to be through your perspective. But do not confuse it with confidence, with having a lot of confidence. You know, don't go around saying, oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be too confident because I'll come off narcissistic. If you are a narcissist and you're taking steps to improve on it, then do, like, you're doing an amazing job. Like, that's what you should be doing. At least you're aware of it, right? Not all people that are, you know, narcissistic are necessarily aware of it. So another part of narcissism is empathy. Again, you don't want to group not all narcissists the same. Like, some literally can't see other people's perspective or how people feel or logically understand how the other person is feeling and some can for example uh, my subscriber that requested this video he says he can logically understand when somebody's sad or why they're sad but he can't necessarily feel those same feelings as them I can kind of understand that because it depends on the situation like if somebody's sad about something you don't necessarily care about yeah you can kind of logically understand why they're sad but you won't really feel that for example if somebody's sad about oh the pokemon convention got canceled and i was looking forward to it all year round like you'll logically be like oh yeah that sucks but you wouldn't really care because that has no emotional pull towards you so like if you're an act like for the average person that makes sense but if it's more emotional things like like tragedies and things like that a healthy person will be able to feel those same feelings of that tragedy that the person they're speaking with is feeling let's get into how to overcome narcissism now i am not a therapist nor am i a psychologist i'm just a youtuber that has really done great research on psychology and i've done a great job of understanding myself and my own psyche so oftentimes i can kind of see where people are coming from a lot of times i'm very open-minded so i try to put myself in other people's shoes so let's get into some solutions so the first way is not to take things personally so a big big chunk of narcissism is again not being able to take criticism when you don't take things personally you live a more free life because you're not at the hands of people's opinions right whatever somebody thinks of you that's their opinion that's coming from their mind frame their their thought process so you can take that as feedback to improve for example when somebody says uh oh you know your fan is kind of loud in the background <laughs> i don't take that personally it's it's video feedback i'm like okay thank you all 
I'll, I'll, I'll listen to that, right? Or if somebody says, oh, I didn't understand this example that you explained in your video, can you explain it further? I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. Everything isn't this personal attack, right? You don't, you don't want to take things personally, whether it's good or bad. If somebody likes my videos, good. If somebody doesn't like it, uh, good. Like, it's all perspective. So that's one, don't take things personally. Number two, journal. This is really powerful. And um, this is something I just started doing because, okay, so this is the power of journaling. When you journal, you write all your thought process, all the good and bad in a very honest way. And it helps you see yourself through an outside perspective because it's in words. Like when you read a book, the book is in words and it's through an outside perspective that you're analyzing. And as you read about that character, you're like, oh, wow, he's this way, he's that way. Oh, I understand him better. But in journaling, you're the character and you're also the author and you're reading about yourself and you're really analyzing yourself better. And what you can do is in the future, as you look past your older journal entries, you can see where you were at. Like, do you cringe at what you were saying or do you like smile? Like, how do you feel about that? Because that can really tell about your progress. Um, through the entries. So let's say um, today's June 26. June 26, you wrote something, and then in July 8th, you look back at that June 26 uh, entry, and you're like, "Wow, you know, I'm. That's kind of. I kind of don't agree with that anymore. I kind of don't agree that you know I should be the center of attention, or I I don't agree that somebody should text me back that quickly anymore." right that shows the growth and it also helps you get your emotions out in an honest way without you know being too judgy if you don't judge yourself too much and you become your own therapist you can you can dissect it and analyze yourself better and another powerful thing about uh words is that like in therapy when people go to the therapists therapists os often repeat back what the person is saying and when the patient hears those words back just like a journal entry they're better able to dissect it because it's from an outside perspective and it's more clear in front of them rather than just in their brains and just their thoughts it's out it's out in the world it's either on paper or it's out um verbally being said back to them and as far as empathy goes you could definitely try meditation it really opens you up to be more less in your head and more of in a feeling state more specifically if you believe in if you believe in chakras and you, you may believe it or you may not i suggest you have an open mind there's the heart chakra that really deals with um empathy and emotion um empathy with yourself and empathy with the outer world and other people so you can do work to increase that part of you that will really help you with empathy um, emotionally right because you'd logically understand empathy but to emotionally understand it it comes from that also have more empathetic friends if you're able to find friends that are really open and more empathetic you can really learn and pick up from them because they say that you're the average of your five friends so if you have at least one person that's really empathetic that'll probably rub off on you and it'll probably do some good things it's very important to understand narcissism they're not necessarily always in the same bubble right like for example when you go to a country if you're a level-headed person, you don't put somebody, just because they're from the same country, you don't put them in the same bubble, right? So think of the same way with narcissists. Think of a country and all the narcissists are in this country. They're not all the same, okay? They're not all the same. Some can, some people can logically feel what other people are feeling, but not necessarily connected with it emotionally. Some can't at all. Some don't care at all. It's a really wide spectrum. And uh, Roche46, I hope I answered your question. If you have a video suggestion, comment it below. And uh, if I like it, I'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys. This is my 45th video on this channel. And um, you guys are really supportive. I love it. I love it. I got some smart subscribers, man. Like, the comments I get, the emails I get, I love it. Take care of yourselves. I'm out of here. Peace.